guys welcome back to a brand new video and this is a exciting one so a lot of you have asked me to give my opinion on marshall griller um i just think he looks fantastic look at how cool he looks so yeah i wanted to jump straight into this i saw it last night on their facebook page they did, they did a cool little it was a bit different this time they did a cool little teaser with the um with like the banana like that which I thought was quite cool that they're they're not just hugely jumping straight into the update. They're trying to tease it a little bit. I I, I just presumed I knew it was also going to be another Griller character, but I forgot about this character. And when they showed me the image, I was like, oh yeah, this guy's an absolute dog. So guys, let's see if we can get 200 likes in this video. And now let me do my review of the character. So we have Marshall Gorilla here, and he looks awesome. Uh, so the first move he uses is banana as a weapon. Banana slash attacks the confronting enemy with multiple hits, dealing attack damage. So it says multiple hits. Um, presumably he's going to use his knife, or maybe he'll use a banana. I don't know. So when it says multiple hits, I'm unsure because I wonder if um, I can't remember if the update has come out yet. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. So. I can look on this way because that's going to look a bit better, isn't it? So he uses his sword to do here, normal skill. Uh, he uses his sword to do multiple hits. Oh no, I meant to move myself. I've accidentally moved the whole video. There we go. He uses his um, attack the confronting enemy with four hits. There we go. So we've got all the information here in front of us now. So he's going to attack the confronting enemy with four hits, dealing 100% attack damage in total. So I don't know if I like the idea of that. Doing 100% attack damage. Does that do 100% attack damage each hit? Or is it over the four hits? So, a banana slash also increases defense by 10%. That's quite good. That's quite a nice little buff off that. Skill damage increases to 120%. Defense bonus increases. Skill damage increases as it goes down as normal. And then we've got the active skills here. The commander's refuge. Protect the ally with the highest strength. So in my example, if I were to have him in my team, it would increase Terrible Tornado. Or then secondly, if I didn't have Terrible Tornado, it would increase Supersonic. So I quite like the idea that um, I can compare him to like Megan Disney Heroes, where he latches on to, a, to one of your allies and leeches away some of the damage. So this is quite nice to keep some attack character's life. So for example, Terrible Tornado, who obviously isn't a hugely strong character in the health region, what this would mean is that he'd latch onto her and when she takes damage, he pulls away 40% of that damage onto himself um, and then receive, yeah, and receive 40% of the damage and increase damage reduction for both of them by 10%. So that means she also gets another 10% damage reduction last until the end of the round. During a protection, when self or the... Hmm. I don't know what I think of this one. During protection, when self or the protected ally is attacked, counterattacks the attacker with banana slash, can trigger runs per round, once per round per attacked character. So this is quite cool because technically he could do a lot of counters. And if he does get those four hits every counter, you're going to see a lot of people getting rinsed. So it would be a nice idea to always link him up to those characters that everybody tries to eliminate first. So you know if you're playing, people will try and eliminate Melzard first. Imagine linking up him up with Melzard. That would give Melzard even more health. Or people are going to try and get rid of Terrible Tornado as quickly as possible. Link him up with Terrible Tornado and you're going to see a lot of damage. And just keeping her alive as well. Saber Cleave. No okay, this is the normal thing, whatever. That's the same as every character. Now, this is the one that I find quite interesting. And the reason I find this interesting is because we'd be able to look at this. And the first thing that pops into my head when I think of this is the, um, is the Odyssey mode. And the special events because you don't have health regain in most of those you won't ever regain your health so what i like about this is at the start of each round you can recover 10 percent of max hp 10 percent, 10 percent. so when you're doing an, a long odyssey mode you can keep going 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent so technically every um you know every game is going to heal and give that extra 
chance to stay in there and keep someone else alive. So like I said, if you were to link him with Terrible Tornado in an Odyssey or Adventure mode, he's going to be healing himself, then taking more damage away from Terrible Tornado, keeping him alive and her alive, and that's like the ultimate duo there. And then we've also got his red skill, which I haven't looked at yet. So when battle begins, max HP increases by 10% of current hp while keeping the same percentage of current hp so basically what that's saying is you're going to go into battle you're going to heal 10 percent hp and then that 10 percent hp is also going to move along and increase the max hp so if you were to have him in adventure mode every single game that you launch 10 percent more 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 so if you were to have him for all of the kind of burn games you do to get skills you could have him un real so that's mental if you got into the big one then he's going to be so good for odyssey mode he seems like a character who's kind of built on focus for like adventure mode and road to strong he'd be fantastic in road to strong as well all the modes that last for a very very long time basically so i think he's going to be a very very exceptional character and i am quite intrigued to get involved with trying to obtain him it's it's, it's not going to be easy and i'm not banking any of my sort of techniques on him because everybody knows how bad the drop rates are in this game and i see that that's the thing that most people complain about is how annoying the drop rates are now i you know i don't knock people who complain about that i fully back them because this is I absolutely love this game, guys. I, I don't have any real complaints about this game, but my main one is how disgusting that drop rate is. Like, it just shouldn't. It shouldn't be the way it is. It, it's, it's almost like an insult, guys. The way they handle it, and yeah, it is a little bit annoying on that front. I'm just sort of quick ripping all the cards with the best stuff here. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do say there's nothing wrong with this game, but it is very, very upsetting the way they handle the, like, summons, and yeah, I wish, I wish it could be done a little bit better, basically. Um, okay, so anyway, so that's the majority of the update, so let's just jump back in and read through the rest of the update now. So that's the main tease, then we have this here. So we've got the updates, um, down the side here, and got quite a cool little image here, actually, of One Punch Man, all the characters' names, and stats just slightly overlaid i think that looks really awesome and then we've got so yeah we've covered that then these are the new additions and i quite i very very much like the idea of this uh so basically road to strong is every day and now a lot of people and i know i've for sure said this a few times so maybe they watch my videos maybe they don't i don't know but road to strong refresh times adjusted so every single um time so this doesn't start until the 8th so let's just say the 9th this will take part um it, so every 24 hours we're gonna have road to strong which is fantastic because the rewards you can get for road to strong are mental now i hope they don't nerf the rewards because i will be very annoyed if they do um because it seems like something that this game would do and then we've got subscriptions so you can claim two communicators every day so that basically means every day you can just raid the city watch if you do the 99p pack new wonderful trip adventure which which looks quite good all new pvp event is coming soon so that's kind of the main gist of this update they've probably done a few sort of background fixes and we also have this which i will be doing in this sunday's live stream guys so make sure you're subscribed and i will be streaming this again on sunday probably failing miserably but either way i look forward to it guys i always do i love doing these on the streams so so that breaks the up i try and keep this video quite short and to the point this breaks that is the biggest kind of oh level 145 now as well bang in so this breaks down the biggest part of the update guys and i've also um had a couple of so hopefully 600 diamonds have met in this conversation and i don't really care about that Great, so another lovely 600 diamonds. So, yes, we've got patrol double. Yes, guys, for a week. Um, oh, what's this? I love that they've just gone, yeah, let's just, just chuck her there again. Um, I mean, oh, so they've, oh, they actually dropped these characters into the summon pools now. Can you get Emperor's Child in there? No, you can't. Oh, you can, yeah, yeah, they have. Okay, here we go. Limited obtains. A 2020... Oh, no, they are. So it looks like the own... Oh, this is dirty. This is dirty. So 
So the only way you're going to be able to continue to level these characters up, because obviously it says here, are in special events. Nah. I, if I got that, I'd definitely choose him. Look at how sick. <laughs> Look at how cool he looks. I'd definitely choose him if I got that. But that's... I mean, this is, this is a new event. I, I'm not mad at this one, because... If you're going to spend, this is quite a nice little just extra, isn't it? I mean, the rewards are trash. The amount of money you'd have to spend. But yeah, it's a new thing. I'm not ever going to look at this again. I'm not ever going to think about it again. It's gone. But I'm very happy about the patrol carnival. And this is why it's very good to be on a high VIP level. Because I'm never going to lose any of the time now. Because I think I my patrol goes on for 72 hours in the background. And that's ne I'm never going to be off the game that long. So that's brilliant. And this is going to be a nice push towards the purples as well. We've got another pointless daily recharge um, thing. But they do that a lot. That would be fantastic. So that means you can guarantee two characters. But you have to top up 1,200 VIP XP a day. Which I think is around... £15 a day, which is just absurd. In my opinion, I'm not judging anyone who does who does spend money, guys. That's completely up to you. If you love the game and you spend money on it, whatever. I appreciate that. Uh, but I think it's absurd to spend that much because I don't like to speed the game up that much. I like... This is always my issue. I don't mind spending on monthly subscriptions, but I don't want to just buy carrots and things outright. I like to pace it. But yeah, so I'm quite excited for this game, guys. Um... Very intrigued to know what you guys think of the update. Drop a comment down below. And yeah, it is all looking very, very cool. So let's open up my Discord, guys. Make sure you join my Discord, guys. Link in description. The link actually works now. Um, we've got quite a lot going on in my Discord. Um, really useful pins in the charts. There's just lots of exciting things going on, guys. So make sure you get in involved on my discord let's check the fan art out oh my goodness we've got Neil Bradley's gonna have to go up on the wall again isn't he what honestly Neil regardless if your drawings are anything to do with me just post them all in here I love looking at your drawings they're so good they are so so good so that does mean Neil Bradley is gonna get his like 12th spot on the wall there's no limit to how many times you can win my monthly giveaways guys because it's all it's all random it's all random so just keep that in mind i am going to be sort of upping the game and how i'm going to do the um contest this week uh this month it's going to be quite exciting i'm going to get all my family involved so we need names on the wall but neil bradley that is phenomenal that, that's so accurate One for the Disney fans. You think a mid decapitation can defeat me? You've been watching too much. <laughs> oh, that one's so cool. I like that with the T as well. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I love that. I'll put the little um, camera next to it as it's been featured. That's the, that's the mark, guys. That is the mark of being featured. Anyway, guys, smash that like and subscribe button, guys. Make sure you join my Discord. Come in here and give Neil Bradley some love. And I'll see you all in the next one.